What? Why would I? If I feel like there's plenty of work to do here now. He's never going to. He's never going to. No, I don't think so. Maybe not in a few years. Yeah, it's true. I mean, I can be, I can be a doubter a lot, but but I'm not like I don't think that I'm the only one who could ever have any knowledge. I know you're not, a, you're not a constant naysayer. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody tells me something makes sense. I'll be like, oh, that makes sense. Okay, so is this the video? <laughs> Alright. No, I don't want to talk about personal individuals and then have them be mad at me because it appeared on YouTube. That's not. No, I, okay, I'll have to say, well, I can just say I have a friend. I mean, I'm not you can just say Kurt, though. Kurt, Kurt's not going to complain. Spelled K I R K. Kurt. No, but he's not going to complain about you later, is he? He's not like, Bob. I don't know. I, he might. His feelings could really get hurt. I need to care about his feelings. Why is he talking about somebody who's not going to have their feelings hurt if he's talking about like Eddie? Eddie? Oh my god. And besides, what do I look? I don't have any, I don't know. I, I, do you want me to say things that are negative and make fun of people? No, no, I, I, well, it's fine. It's I fine. mean, what's her? I mean, I have. I'll, here, here, I'll, I'll, I'll leave the room to, to, to let you get comfortable. With or why don't, you, why, don't, why don't you just ask me a few leading questions and I'll just start talking? Like yeah, some just, sort of. Just, just start telling the stories that you were just talking about. Okay, well, I have a friend. I have a friend whose girlfriend has um, Alzheimer's. <laughs> I don't know. I don't feel comfortable telling the story. So. I don't feel comfortable telling the story to the public. Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay. Bitcoin. Okay, well, I'll talk about, okay, so this is my Bitcoin story. So, uh, this is a long time ago, like when Bitcoin was worth just pennies. When my son, Mylon, he was telling me I should buy Bitcoin. And and so I'm like, at first I was like, oh, I don't know about Bitcoin. That doesn't, oh, that sounds weird. And then I watched a video, uh, it was actually like kind of a, uh, uh, animated video about Bitcoin, about blockchain. And I watched it and I was like, fuck, that makes so much sense. That is actually really brilliant. The whole blockchain thing about how it's trustless and, and how it's like structured perfectly. 
And I was like, wow, okay, this blockchain thing is amazing and it's a real breakthrough and it's great. So then I started taking Bitcoin more seriously. <clears throat> but then, I don't know, it's funny because like, I just, I don't know, I just thought, oh, I'll buy Bitcoin one day. Oh, it'll slowly go up in value. Oh, it's fine, it's no hurry. And then I just never bought Bitcoin. And then all of a sudden it had gone up to like 20,000 coin. And I'm like, oh shit, I'm too late. And then it went down. And so then I did end up buying some at 8,000. Um, and I didn't buy enough. I bought a little bit, <laughs> but uh, yeah, obviously it's up a lot more now. Um, so uh, I don't know, that's my Bitcoin story. That's it, Marlon. Oh yeah, so I met some guy, some dude at the bar, and he is like, he's like young, about Mylan's age. Like, it was funny because okay, because I could tell he's like kind of like very um, um, libertarian, the libertarian streak, because he's talking about how he's living in a house with some roommates in Rockridge. And he's like saying to the bartender, oh, yeah, I come here all the time. And the bartender's like, I've never seen you here. <laughs> but anyway, so so he's telling her about how he's going to get kicked out. And she's like, you should get some money for that because they can't just kick you out. And he's like, oh, well, they want to kick me out because they're because they got to fix the roof. And so we're planning to move out in February so they can fix the roof. And and the bartender was like. So, you know, it's not that simple. You know, they can't just make you move. They, you know, blah, 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 this and that. And so then I chimed in. I was like, yeah, she's right. I mean, this is Oakland. You know, the renters have all the rights. You know, you need to you need to negotiate how you're going to leave the house. I said, it doesn't have to be antagonistic, but all the landlords know they can't just kick people out. So why would you just completely cooperatively with your tail between your legs just go? And, um, and then he started talking about Bitcoin. And oh, and so then, so then the bartender was like, he was talking about how Bitcoin, you know, it's, it's like trustless, and you know, you don't have to have a bank involved and all this. And the and the bartender was like, well, how does that help poor people who don't have a bank anyway? They don't care. That's not helping people. That's not helping the people who don't have anything anyway. They're going to be left behind, right? And he's like, yeah, they're going to be left behind. He's like, there's always somebody who's going to be left behind. Kind of like tough shit, right? And um, I'm like, damn, dude. I'm like, well, and I'm like, well, maybe Bitcoin could be used in place of a bank for some of those people. Maybe there is some way it could be used to actually help people who don't have any access to anything like that right now. And he, um, and he kind of was like, oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, sure, 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 yeah, maybe it could help some people. But you could tell he's just like one of those. So then that's why he didn't want to. He didn't want to fuck over the the landlord. Because he's a libertarian and he's like, oh, the landlord has obviously been a good upstanding person who's worked hard all their life and they want to sell their house for millions of dollars, you know, which is fine. I mean, I'm not against making money. I want to make money too, but I don't know. It's just like that whole attitude of like, I'm already, uh, you know, a good looking 20 something white, smart white guy who's figured out how to make money off. He was talking about how he does day trading. So his two jobs. So his job is he works for a, a, a um, what do you call it? A um, some sort of cryptocurrency company, and then he day trades too. And he said he's in. And I'm like, really? You make money day trading? I said I kind of tried to do that, and it's it's not easy. And he's like, oh well, I'm in this group. There's like 300 people all on these conference calls every morning, and and you pay some money in. But then they tell you what trades to make and you can make way, way like you can make shit tons of money. And it's like so much more than what you pay them to be part of the conference call. And if he's telling the truth, I'm like, damn, dude, I won't learn that, too. But um, but it's like he has inside information because he, you know, the time he grew up and he he understands all the technology. It's like I don't understand all the technology. It's like just trying to get my stupid iPhone to work it overwhelms me. Um, you know, so anyway, okay, that's it for today, folks. Bye. All right.